Serbia, Serbian, Serbia Srbija, also known as Raska, Serbian Cyrillic, Raska Latin, Rashia, was a Serb medieval state that comprised parts of what is today Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and southern Dalmatia, being centered in the region of Raska, hence its exonym. The state was formed in CA 1091 out of a vassal principality of Duklia, a Serb state which had itself emerged from the early medieval Serbian principality that was centered in Raska until 960, when it was left in obscurity in sources after the Byzantine-Bulgarian Wars. Its founder, Vukan, took the title of Grand Prince when his uncle and overlord Bodan ended up in Byzantine prison after decades of revolt. While Duklia was struck with civil wars, Raska continued the fight against the Byzantines. It was ruled by the Vukanovic dynasty, who managed to put most of the former Serbian state under their rule, as well as expanding to the south and east. Through diplomatic ties with Hungary it managed to retain its independence past the mid-12th century. After a dynastic civil war in 1166, Stefan Nemanja emerged victorious. Nemanja's son Stefan was crowned king in 1217, while his younger son Rasko monk Sava was ordinated the first Archbishop of Serbs in 1219. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Background. According to the De Administrando Imperio die, the Serbs settled the Balkans under the protection of Byzantine Emperor Heraclius r. 610 and were ruled by a dynasty known in historiography as the Vlastimirovic dynasty. Slavs had begun settling the region in the early 6th century, after raiding deep into the empire. They settled, "...baptized Serbia", the Serbian hinterland, anachronistically known as Raska, which included Bosnia, and the maritime lands of Travunia, Zahumlia, and Pagania. While maritime Duklia was held by the Byzantines, it was presumably settled with Serbs as well. All of the maritime lands bordered baptized Serbia to the north. In the mid-9th century, the hitherto peaceful neighbour of Bulgaria invaded but was defeated in war. Serbia was Christianised in ca. 870, although missions had been made during Heraclius's reign. In the following decades, members of the dynasty fought succession wars, and Serbia became a matter of Byzantine-Bulgarian rivalry. The written information regarding the dynasty ends with the Dai and Prince Kaslav's death ca. 950, after which the realm crumbled into pieces. The Byzantines established a short-lived Katepanate at Ras, with military governorship ending soon thereafter with the Byzantine conquest of Bulgaria, and was re-established only ca. 1018 with the short-lived theme of Sirmium, which however did not extend much into Raska. Meanwhile, Duklia emerged as the dominant Serbian principality, as the renewed state Byzantines calling it Serbia, including Raska, Travunia and Zahumlia. Initially a vassal of the Byzantine Empire, Stefan Vojislav Florida, 1034 rose up and managed to take over the territories of the earlier Serbian principality, founding the Vojislavljevic dynasty. Between 1043 and 1080, under Mihailo Vojislavljevic r. 1050–81, and his son, Constantine Bodin r. 1081–1101, Duklia saw its apogee. Mihailo was given the nominal title King of Slavs by the Pope after having left the Byzantine camp and supported a Slavic uprising in the Balkans, in which his son Bodin played a central part. Having incorporated the Serbian hinterland and installed vassal rulers there, it emerged as the most powerful Serb polity, seen in the titles used by its rulers, Prince of Serbia, of Serbs, 
However, its rise was short-lived, as Bodin was defeated by the Byzantines and imprisoned, pushed to the background, his relative and vassal Vukan became independent in Raska, which continued the fight against the Byzantines while Duklia was struck with civil wars. History In 1091 or 1092, Vukan became independent, taking the title of Grand Prince Veliki Zupan. His state was centered at Ras, around present-day Norvi Pazar. Subordinate to him were local counts titled Zupan, who seem to have been more or less autonomous in the internal affairs of their counties, but who obliged loyalty, and support in warfare. It seems that the counts were hereditary holders, holding their land before Duklia annexed Raska. Vukan began raiding Byzantine territory in the vicinity of Kosovo in ca. 1090, the Byzantines initially being unable to take countermeasures as they faced invading Pekanegs. After defeating the Pekanegs, Alexios I Komnenos sent an army with the Strategos of Dirachium, which was defeated by Vukan in 1092. Alexios then mobilized a much larger army, led by himself, and marched on to Raska. Vukan sent envoys, seeking peace, which Alexios quickly accepted as problems arose at home with Cumans plundering as far as Adrianople. Immediately after the emperor's departure, Vukan broke the treaty, and began to expand along the Varda, obtaining much booty and taking the cities of Vranya, Scorpia, and Titovo. In 1094 or 1095, Alexios marched out and met Vukan, who offered peace and gave twenty hostages including his cousin Uros and son Stefan it was usual for relatives of rulers to stay at the imperial court as hostages of peace. At this time, Vukan acted entirely on his own, no longer a vassal of Duklia, which because of its civil war did not involve itself in the conflicts. Following Bodin's death in 1101, Vukan took advantage of the dynastic civil wars in Duklia, and forged an alliance with Kokapa, with whom he invaded Duklia in 1102. Kokapa's reign was short lived, as he fell in battle during a conflict with Zahumlia. Vukan installed another member of the dynasty, Vladimir, to whom he married his daughter. Upon spreading his influence in Duklia, Vukan invaded Byzantium once more in the spring of 1106, taking advantage of the Norman campaign, defeating co-emperor John II Komnenos, but then sent hostages in return for peace in November. There is no written record of Vukan after this war, and he is believed to have died in ca. 1112, succeeded by his cousin Uros. In 1113 or 1114, the Byzantine army of Dirachium invaded Duklia and captured its capital of Skatari. They subsequently installed their protege, while ruler Dord took refuge in Raska under the protection of Uros, and married his relative. The two led an army into Duklia in 1125, successfully retaining most of its territory. After a Byzantine invasion of the Maritime, they nominally recognized Gradenia, resulting in a guerrilla war which ended with Dord's capture. Gradenia, however, only ruled a small portion of Duklia, and subsequently strengthened ties with Raska. In ca. 1127, a Byzantine-Hungarian war broke out, with the Hungarians taking over Belgrade, then penetrating to Nice, Sofia, and Philippopolis, after which John defeated them with infantry and navy on the Danube. The Serbs, who had in the meantime recognized Byzantine rule, expelled the Byzantine governor at Ras, Kretopol, who fled to Constantinople where he was ridiculed. Uros I had three sons, Uros II, Deza and Bellows, and one daughter, Yelena, from a marriage with Anna Diogenesa, the granddaughter of Byzantine Emperor Romanos IV Diogenes. On 1 March 1131, he married his daughter to King Bela II of Hungary. Bela II, being blind, relied entirely on Yelena who acted as a co-ruler. Yelena is sourced as having decided to massacre 68 aristocrats at the Arad Assembly, due to their persuasion of Coloman to blind her husband earlier. 
In 1137, Ladislaus II, the son of Bela II and Jelena, became the titular ban of Bosnia. When Bela II died on 13 February 1141, the eldest son Geza II ascended the throne, still a child. Therefore, Jelena and her brother Belos, whom she had invited to the court, ruled the Kingdom of Hungary as regents until September 1146 when he came of age. In 1145 Belos received the title of Cums Palatinus Count Palatine, the highest court title—meaning he could substitute for the king whenever necessary. Since 1142 Belos served as the ban of Croatia. Uros I was succeeded by his son, Uros II. Belos had close ties with Uros II, and they were able to count on each other in times of trouble. In ca. 1148, the political situation in the Balkans was divided by two sides, one being the alliance of the Byzantines and Venice, the other the Normans and Hungarians. The Normans were sure of the danger that the battlefield would move from the Balkans to their area in Italy. Emperor Manuel I Komnenos also allied himself with the Germans after defeating the Cumans in 1148. The Serbs, Hungarians and Normans exchanged envoys, being in the interest of the Normans to stop Manuel's plans to recover Italy. In 1149, Belossa's Hungarian army aided Uros II against the Byzantines. The Serbs under brothers Uros II and Deza revolted against the Byzantines, when Manuel was in Avlona planning an offensive across the Adriatic, and this revolt posed danger to the Emperor if he would attack Italy, as the Serbs could strike at the Adriatic bases. The Serbs next undertook an offensive against Radoslav of Duklia, who was a loyal Byzantine vassal. Radoslav was pushed to the southwestern corner of Duklia, to Kotor, and retained only the coastal area, with the brothers holding much of inland Duklia and Trebinja, over two-thirds of Duklia. Radoslav sought help from the emperor, who sent aid from Dirachium. At this moment, the chronicle of the priest of Duklia ends, presumably because the author of the original text had died. A major war was about to erupt in the Balkans. Uros II and Deza, in light of Byzantine retaliation, sought aid from their brother Belos, the Count Palatine of Hungary. By 1150, Hungarian troops played an active role in Serbia. In 1150, Deza was mentioned in a charter as Dux of Duklia, Travunia, and Zahumlia. In 1150, Uros II swore loyalty to the Byzantine emperor, and demanded that Deza be put in prison. He recovered his title and lands, and Deza also swore loyalty, and was recognized as ruler of the Dalmatian lands. The two brothers were to rule the appointed regions as Manuel's vassals. The event is part of what would become a competition between the Byzantine Emperor and Holy Roman Emperor that would soon move into Hungary. In 1151, Manuel I declared war on Hungary. This was due to the fact that Hungary had aided Serbia in its revolts against Byzantine rule. Byzantine troops were sent into Samir and across the Danube. The Byzantines caused great destruction and then withdrew, the operation being strictly punitive, with no occupation of lands. Geza II soon signed a peace treaty. Over the next twenty years, there were to be ten campaigns against Hungary. Manuel I was able to keep the Hungarians under control in the Balkans, at the expense of abandoning the Norman conflict. In 1153, Deza ousted Uros II. The pro Hungarian faction at the Serbian court was upset with the Byzantine overlordship. In autumn 1154, Manuel I settled the dispute between Uros II and Deza. The emperor restored Uros II in 1155 or 1156, and gave Deza the appanage of Dendra near Nis. In 1161–62, Uros II was briefly replaced by Belos, who then returned to his office in Hungary and Croatia. Uros II seems to have died in 1165 or 1166.
Manuel I now put Tihomir at the Serbian throne, he was the son of Zavida, a close relative to Uros II who had held Zahumlia. The rule was divided between Tihomir and his three younger brothers. Tihomir held supreme rule, while Strasimir ruled West Morava, Miroslav ruled Hum and Travunia, and Stefan Nemanja ruled Toplica, Abar, Rasina, and Reek. The youngest of the brothers, Nemanja, was also given the county of Duboica by Manuel I. He had aided the Byzantines against the Hungarians in Samir. 1164. Tihomir most likely saw Nemanja's ties with Manuel I as a threat. Nemanja had monasteries built in Kursumlia and near Kosanica. Without the approval of Tihomir, Nemanja thought he had the freedom to do so, while Tihomir disagreed, thinking that Nemanja sought independence as he had close relations with Manuel I. Tihomir had Nemanja imprisoned, and his lands taken. Nemanja's supporters conspired to the church that Tihomir had done all this because of his disapproval of church building, thus the Serbian church turned against him, Nemanja managed to escape, and returned to his lands. Now, Nemanja mobilized an army, possibly with Byzantine help Manuel I might have been displeased with Tihomir's acting, and headed for the crown. Tihomir, Strasimir and Miroslav were defeated, and expelled to Byzantium in 1167. As Nemanja had now become very powerful, and the Byzantines had wanted to see Serbia weak by dividing it, Manuel I now turned to the expelled brothers. Tihomir, provided with an army, was dispatched from Scorpia and met Nemanja's large army near Zavekan. Nemanja decisively defeated him at Pantino, with Tihomir drowning in the Sitnica River, and then proceeded to capture his other brothers with whom he made peace and offered their former lands in return for recognizing him as the only ruler of Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> Administration Topic: Administrative divisions. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. The important Via de Zenta, a trade route connecting the Adriatic with Serbia, started from the mouth of the Bojana, the Škoda Skada port, alternatively Bar then Cetinje along the Drin Valley to Prizren, then to Lipian, then through Novo Brdo to Vranja and Nis. The Republic of Venice and Ragusa used the road for trade with Serbia and Bulgaria. John Kinemos, writing about the Byzantine conquest of Gallic near Kosovska Mitrovica in 1149, said that many barbarians were imprisoned, who were partly warriors and partly cattle breeders. William, the Archbishop of Tyre, when crossing Serbia for the Holy Land in 1168, he described the Serbs. They are rich in herds and flocks and unusually well supplied with milk, cheese, butter, meat, honey and wax." In 12th and 13th centuries the Republic of Ragusa benefited greatly by becoming a commercial outpost of the rising and prosperous Serbian state, especially after the signing of a treaty with Stefan I crowned. Later, in 1268, Uros signed a treaty with Ragusa imposing the, so-called, St. Dimitrius Revenue by which Ragusans were to pay to Serbian king 2,000 hyperperi a year. Architecture <laughs> 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 Ecclesiastical Monastery of St. Nicholas, in Kursumlia Monastery of the Holy Mother of Christ, between Kosanica and Toplica Temple of George's Columns, Derdevi Stupovi, in 1171 in Ras Temple of the Immaculate Holy Virgin the Benefactor Studenica, in 1190 in Abar Church of the Holy Mother of Christ, at the confluence of the Bistrica and the Lim 
Monastery of St. Nicholas, in Concurge on the Abar Nunnery of the Mother of Christ, in Ras Rulers See also List of Serbian monarchs Serbia in the Middle Ages Kingdom of Serbia Serbian Empire Serbian Despotate equals equals notes <laughs>